everybody. Welcome to Daily Inspirations. I'm Michelle Dawn. Today I am decorating my Villa Beautiful lined vertical planner with um, stickers from the Happy Planner. I'm going to be using some that I took out of the color story book, mini size. And I'm also going to incorporate some stickers from the um, Ooh La La kit from Villa Beautiful, as well as some Girl Boss Anna um, underlay tapes and Villa Beautiful washi. <laughs> Here we go. My spread this week is dedicated to Earth Day because that is Thursday, April 22nd. And that's during this week, so I chose the animals and plants and things to celebrate Earth Day for my stickers. I also got a new microphone, so I'm not using the built-in laptop microphone this time. Hopefully you can hear me and there's no, um, you know, background buzzing fan noise coming up anytime at all. <laughs> and I do want to mention before I continue that my kitten is in heat. She is apparently old enough for that now. <laughs> and she's making a, a lot of noise. I think that she might be quiet for a few minutes here, but I have already started this voice over, over again many times because she's <laughs> rubbing all over the microphone and rubbing all over the laptop and just <laughs> Oh, she's looking at me now. She's giving me the look. Why are you talking about me? Okay, so about my spread. I am not used to using this style of stickers. So the square stickers and the um, even the vertical boxes, I'm just, I'm not used to doing a vertical spread. This is my very first, my very first line vertical planner. And I haven't done a vertical I tried doing a vertical happy planner, um, a f I don't know, several years ago, and it just didn't work out. I couldn't figure it out. So anyway, I am enjoying this um, line vertical layout from Villa Beautiful very, very much. It is extremely functional, and I am able to decorate as much as I want because there's quite a lot of room. Um, so I just wanted you to know that I do change a lot of things, especially toward the end when I'm doing my Girl Boss Anna um, ink underlays. I, I put them out across the top and I didn't like it that way and I just, I redid it over and over again. I cut that part out of the video because I didn't think you guys wanted to see that. But Moving on, Earth Day. I am going to be talking to you about Earth Day today, and I will be reading from nationaltoday.com. Earth Day is April 22nd every year. For the past 50 years, Earth Day has been celebrated by billions of people around the globe annually every April 22nd to join together in promoting awareness for the health of our environment. Why should we continue to celebrate this holiday? Some people may view it as just another holiday or an excuse to wear green and a flower crown, similar to St. Patrick's Day. But with serious concerns about our changing environment being studied and addressed today by prominent scientists, politicians, and young climate change activists alike, some people are adapting to more environmentally friendly ways of living every day, not just on April 22nd every year. Cue the composting, recycling, repurposing, carpooling, thrifting, and metal straws to save the turtles. The history of Earth Day is next on nationaltoday.com. The idea for Earth Day was originally born in 1969, when a U.S. senator named Gaylord Nelson witnessed the effects of a massive oil spill in Santa Barbara, California. He called to action all Americans to take a stand for the environment in 1970, and thousands of colleges and universities across the United States organized protests for a healthy, sustainable Earth. This included air pollution from factories and freeways, as well as the loss of habitats for animals and animal extinction. 
Because of these national rallies, the first Earth Day helped create the United States Environmental Protection Agency and the Clean Air, Clean Water, and Endangered Species Acts into law. Today we have similar concerns, and unfortunately they are even messier than the original oil spill. Increasing natural disasters, extreme weather, and rising global temperatures may seem impossible for one human, let alone millions or even billions of humans, to slow down or stop. It has been reported that coral reefs are dying. We see pictures of animals on land and in the ocean with trash in their bellies or around their body, and corporate factories and large companies around the world continue to pollute our air and our living spaces. But a small action, like picking up litter on the sidewalk that may have otherwise ended up around the neck of an animal or in the ocean, still makes an impact, a step in the right direction, and an important change. Next on nationaltoday.com, we have Earth Day Frequently Asked Questions. Number one is, what is the theme for Earth Day 2020? Well, it says 2020, but I looked up for 2022. Uh, it appears they haven't updated their website. And the theme for Earth Day 2022 is invest in our planet. Um, that is the hashtag as well. Hashtag invest in our planet. What should I do for Earth Day is the second, second question. If you're looking for an event like a group cleanup project or a climate strike rally to join, visit the global interactive map on Earth Day Network's website. There are many things to do to support our planet and multiple ways to get connected locally to your community on Earth Day. The last question is, should I wear green on Earth Day? Though supporting the holiday through apparel is encouraged in order to promote awareness, the most important thing is not what you wear on this day, but what you do. And speaking of Earth Day activities, there are three of them. The first activity from nationaltoday.com for Earth Day is to reduce your carbon footprint. Get creative with new ways to switch up your commute or a part of your daily routine. Instead of driving to your destination, carpool with friends, take public transportation, walk, skate, scooter, or ride a bike. Depending on the weather, you may enjoy this new form of travel even more than sitting in traffic. Number two, reuse and recycle your wardrobe. Though it may seem insignificant in the grand scheme of things, your closet and your shopping habits actually have a negative effect on the environment. By buying thrifted or gently used outfits online, new resources aren't used to make more clothes that will eventually end up being repurposed, reused, or in a landfill. Some studies have shown that online shopping is better for the environment because it takes about 30% less resources to sell items online. Fire up your Amazon Prime app. And the third and final activity suggested by nationaltoday.com for Earth Day is to switch up your diet. Most people may know that food production accounts for one quarter to one third of all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide, and the majority of the blame falls on the meat industry. The BBC recently reported that if the entire world became vegetarian and ate no red meat by 2050, food-related emissions would decrease by about 60%. If the world went vegan instead, emissions would decrease around 70%. It may be time to try out the new Beyond Meat Burgers. Now it's time for five facts about Earth Day that will blow your mind. Number one, record high carbon dioxide. According to the National Geographic Society, the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere has never been higher in part potentially due to nature and in part due to the advances we as humans have made in industrialization across the globe since the 1700s. Number two, less food waste means less greenhouse gas. Most people may not know this, but the more food we waste and do not consume, the more greenhouse gases are emitted to transport the bio and biodegrade the waste. Number three, Climate change affects temperatures and weather. According to the U.S. Global Change Research Program, the temperature in the U.S. has increased by 2 degrees in the last 50 years and precipitation has increased by 5%.
More extreme weather phenomena have been occurring in the past 50 years. Extreme weather in 2019 broke over 120,000 records in the United States. Number four, it's a politically debated topic. Even though 90% or more of climate scientists agree that climate change is likely due to human activity, according to the Earth Day Network, and nearly 200 scientific organizations globally have issued statements that agree with this view, it's still a widely debated topic today. Number five, the top emitter of carbon dioxide. China, with their human population of 1.4 billion, is currently the top emitter of carbon dioxide, accounting for 30% of global carbon emissions, according to the Earth Day Network. However, the United States, with a population around 328 million, comes in second under China as a top emitter at 15% of emissions worldwide. So, how do you plan to celebrate Earth Day? I am celebrating Earth Day every day just because of my health and not trying to brag or <laughs> say that I'm better than anybody. But because of my health, I have had to eliminate um, all meat products from my diet. So I am 100% vegan. And I have also had to go to non-toxic cleaning and personal care products. So I use Norwex. Norwex also does a lot for the environment um, with their packaging and all, all of the things. They have um, fundraisers and, and everything. I love them. All done. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Stay inspired. Bye.